Hi everyone, my name is Tony Willey, um, and welcome to another episode of Skyrim Special Edition Mod Tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to download and install Wirebash. Unless you actually know how to use the Python, I recommend just downloading the installer. It's real simple, real easy to use, and it'll go ahead and it'll put it in your inventory for you. Alright, so you're going to go ahead and you're going to download the installer right now. Give it a moment while it downloads. Okay. Once it downloads and it's fully downloaded, you're going to go ahead and put it in any folder you wish to put your mod tools or any uh, other extra third-party uh, utilities that you use for, for modding Skyrim in any folder you like. And it should have the installer ready for you. So I already have that set up, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to the installer menu, which is under my mod tools. So as you can see, Wirebash is installers right here. All you do is go ahead and click on it. Basically, the, 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 little, the little setup um, menu will show up. Go to next. So unless you're unless you actually want to also install uh, for Wirebash for Skyrim, Bash Patch for and a Bash Patch for Fallout 4, just go ahead and unclick these. All right, go ahead and click next because we're all, we're all we're doing is this installing for Skyrim Special Edition. Click install. All right, go ahead and click next. And unless you want it to start up right away, and you can do that with either Skyrim or Special Edition, you go ahead and click on one of these and click close. I'm going to go ahead, and, but I'm going to load. I want to load the U Wire Bash through um, my, nex my Nexus Mod Manager. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're not going to click these. We're going to go ahead. And go to we're going to go ahead and go close. Okay. All right. So next, you're going to go to Nexus Mod Manager. Open that up. You're going to go Support Tools. Go down. Uh, right click on Wire Bash Launch. And you're going to find your Skyrim Special Edition data folder. That should be in your Steam folder. Steam apps. Common. Skyrim Special Edition. And you're looking for the MOP Mopi folder. Click on that and then click OK. The Wire Bash icon should pop up accordingly. And all you do need to do is start it up. But before I do, let me go ahead and activate these mods to make sure everything's ready to go for the um, wire bash. I'm actually going to try to merge some some of these ESPs so I can actually make my data folder my um I have less ESPs loading. The bash patch should do that for us. Okay, let's go ahead and launch it up. Okay, now that you've Activated wire bash, it's now working. Your load order should be uh, should set up according to loot. Um, once that's ready to go, you're gonna go ahead and click the bash patch. You're gonna go to uh, right click it, go down to rebuild patch. If you want to merge these, go ahead and merge them. If not, just uncheck them. Click OK. All right. So under your mergers. I want to merge these files right here, so I'm going to leave them alone. These I do not want to merge, so we'll leave them unchecked. As you can see, these, these, is, these are all your level lists. Everything that you're going to go in the, in the, back, in the, in the setting tweaks and the import inventory that we're going to go ahead and we're going to, um, we're going to put in our bash patch. So you're, oh, you go ahead, make sure everything's good to go, and you're going to go ahead and click build patch. Give it a moment while it loads. I have a lot of mods, so depending on how many mods you have, it'll, it may take a minute for the batch patch to be created. I mean, I have a lot of mods. This is what the screen that will look like. This is how you know it's working correctly. You'll see all your um, you'll see all your stats, the meal order, the imported inventory, what it's done, the level list that it's, it's created. You can go down here. You can check each one out individually. Items empty sub lists. Check those out. And all you do is click OK. And as you can see, records changed for 141. Click exit. And as you can see, you now have a bash patch. Now, if you don't want to use a bash patch anymore, all you do is you go to your Skyrim. Special Edition directory, 
go to your data folder, go to Bash Patch down here, right click it, and delete. That's it. Bash Patch is gone. And as you can see, it's no longer there. All right, everyone, that's it. Um, if you get the chance, please go ahead and give Wirebash team along with Utumo um, a huge thank you by endorsing their mod, voting or donating to, to, their, to them. These guys do this stuff for free, and we really do thank them for all the tools that they provide the community. If you like my videos, please go ahead and share with your friends. If you, um, if you like my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. My name is Tony Wille. Thanks for the click, and I will see you next time.